the future of Uber and Lyft in Miami-Dade County. Commissioners have now voted to legalize the ride-sharing services. CBS 4's David Sutta joins us live from downtown Miami. David. Yeah, it's quite remarkable what's happened here when you think about it. I mean, here's a company that asked to do work in Miami-Dade County, was told no and kept doing it. They were being fined $2,000 every time they were caught doing it. And yet, after three years, they continued to do that. And today, they finally won. After a day of hearing both sides one last time, Miami-Dade commissioners finally relented in the three-year battle with ride-sharing companies Uber and Lyft. It's absolutely a big day uh, for ride sharing for the residents of uh, Miami-Dade County. Since 2013, both companies have been operating illegally in Miami-Dade, racking up millions in fines when drivers are caught, fueling much of the debate, a taxi cab industry that had a firm grip on the market. They argued much of the day trying to keep it. This is atrocious. They are killing our business. There's a lot of people who's going to lose the houses. In the end, motion passes 9 to 2. Vice Chairman Esteban Bovo pushed his plan through to radically change Miami transit. The vote means Uber and Lyft will be legal in 10 days. Taxi cabs will now be able to charge less than the rates posted on their door to compete. And Uber and Lyft will have to settle nearly $4 million in fines for operating illegally. Yeah, they're going to pay up. Uh, they're going to pay up something. The mayor hoping to collect at least half. The only thing they haven't done is put the nails on the coffin. But they've got us in the coffin already. For decades, the county has regulated the number of cabs on the road through the sale of medallions. Cab owners paid as much as 400 grand for them. Now, with ride sharing competition, the medallions are worth a fraction of that. Minutes after the vote, they threatened legal action. We are not, we're not going away without a fight. And the mayor telling us he was expecting that legal action. In fact, he told us that, uh, you know, things are just going to be different now for the taxi cab industry. But still, they'll be able to hail, people will be able to hail cabs on the street. And they'll also be able to pick up people at the ports. He says it'll be different, but tax company, taxi companies will be able to continue on as ride sharing takes off here in South Florida. We're live in downtown Miami. David Sutter, CBS 4 News tonight.